comparing numbers where the number of digits are different. Now, you know, uh, if I tell you that, you know, there are various numbers and I ask you to find out which is the greatest number or which is the smallest number, how do you find this out? The thing which we are discussing now is how do you compare two numbers? So let's say for example, I have two numbers. Okay. One is four, six, eight. And the other one is, let's say for example, 29. If I ask you to find out which is the greatest number and which is the smallest number, Okay, there are only two, so let me put one another one. One. Single digit one. So if I tell you to find out which is the greatest number out of these three and which is the smallest, I think you can easily find it out. Right? Why? Because we know one is the smallest number. Why? Because it is a single digit number. It's only in units. And 468 is the greatest number or the biggest number if I may call it. Why? Because it has hundreds in it while 29 has only ones and tens. Here you just have ones. In this case you have ones, you have tens and you have hundreds. Right? Well, let me put H over here. But if I give you another thing where I tell you 6, 3, 4, five seven seven one two nine and four three six eight two one and i tell you now find out which is the greatest number and which is the smallest number it might pose some kind of difficulty so the method which is the easiest one to find out in such a case where the number of digits are different what do i mean by this if you count how many digits are there in this particular number, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number of digits in this number is 5. Let's take the second one. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number of digits are 4. Coming to the third one, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So if you see in this case, the number of digits in all the three numbers are different. So if I have to compare numbers, find out which is the greatest one and the smallest one where the number of digits are different. How do I do that? It is very simple. The number in which the number of digits, the number of digits is the largest is the greatest number so in this case we have six as the largest number of digit in this particular number therefore the greatest number out of these three is 436 8 2 1 if you read this also how how do you read this this is 436,821 or 4,36,821 and which is the smallest number? The smallest number is the one where the number of digits is the smallest. So the smallest number out of these three is 7129. Right? Pretty easy, isn't it? So if I give you another example of this, so let me call this question number three. So let's say for example, you have 625891, right? Then you have 25986 and you have, let's say for example, 6258991. So how do you find out which is the greatest and which is the smallest number out of these three? Again, as I told you, it's really very simple. We count what is the number of digits. So here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 digits. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 digits. 
So what was the rule? The rule is the greatest number is the one which has the maximum number of digits, which is nothing but this number. So the greatest here is 6258991. And the smallest is which one? With 5, 25986. Now please note that this rule that the number with the largest number of digits is the greatest applies only when the number of digits in all the given numbers is different. Right? The methodology that I have told you is not applicable if the number of digits is same. So let's say for example, if I add 1 over here, so how many digits do we have now? We'll have 6 digits. So insofar as the greatest number is concerned, this has the largest number of digits, so this will apply. But how do I see whether this is greater or this is greater? Because both of them have 6 digits. Right? So this is not something which I have covered in this video. This I am going to see in the next video where I will tell you that if the number of digits in a given number is equal, then how do we find out which number is the greatest and which is the smallest? Thank you for being with us today.